Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Arena Vincent back up in here exploring life like always. You know what it's time for. It's that 2024 National Football League Super Bowl 58 prediction results. I'll give you my thoughts as well on the whole Super Bowl 58 between the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. Um, first of all, fuck both. Fuck the Chiefs. And fuck the 49ers. Raiders! What's up out there, man? Go pack, motherfucking go. Cheese head for life. And shout out to them Cincinnati Bengals. Those are my three teams that I root for. So those are the three teams that I'm always going to be biased towards or biased for. <laughs> and um, let's get into it. You know, as you know, uh, your homie Arena Vincent, I did pick in my prediction video that only two people have watched. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, like I said, I made that video like last minute. I made that video on Sunday uh, in the morning. Uh, normally, I try to make my prediction videos at least on the Friday before the game or a couple days before the game. But you know, I wasn't sure making it. But anyways, you did watch. Thank you. It's uh, your homie Arena Vincent picked the Kansas City Chiefs to defeat the San Francisco 49ers and become the Super Bowl 58 champions. Um, and I got that pick correct. Um, this game, at first, I thought this game was a boring game. I'm going to keep it real with you. Um, I didn't watch any of it. I listened to uh, most of the first half, and then that was it. Um, as soon as I got home, I had to do laundry, take care of stuff like that. I would check up on the game and um, saw that, you know, Niners took... It was kind of going back and forth a little bit. And then towards the end, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. When I was at the laundromat washing clothes, I saw... That the Niners went up, what, it was 22 to 19 or something like that? Or 20, whatever. It was 22 to 19 or something like that. And there was it was the fourth quarter, 16 seconds left. And Kansas City had the ball. And I told myself, when I checked, the, when I checked my phone, I was like, 16 seconds, man. I, I don't think it's over yet. Because I always believe it ain't over till it's over. You know, time zero. And I was in my head, again, I wasn't watching it. I just saw quick look I didn't check where the ball was at but I said man Patrick Mahomes got the ball the Kansas City Chiefs have the ball they're probably gonna get in the field goal range you know and so you know I was just taking care of stuff and um as soon as I looked again overtime 22-22 and I was all like dang these motherfuckers caught up you know they tied it up man so so I told my I told my dad told my wife at the time I said um this game is actually a good game but, man, it was bittersweet for me again because I'm a Raiders fan and a Packers fan and a Cincinnati Bengals fan. So, uh, as a Raiders fan, I don't like the Kansas City Chiefs at all. But as a Raiders fan, I don't like the San Francisco 49ers, you know, because that whole rivalry they had, you know, Oakland versus San Francisco. Didn't really care for the Niners. And then as a Green Bay Packers fan, I can't stand the 40 fucking Niners because we can never get past those motherfuckers, you know, all the time. Even when we had Aaron Rodgers, we couldn't get past them, you know, and, and all that. So, very annoying. So, that's why I picked against the 49ers. And that's that. You know, I like I saw a Marshawn Lynch. I don't know if anybody's seen the video of Marshawn Lynch in Las Vegas going around asking 49ers if they're 49er fans, and he would tell they would say yes, and he would say, Fuck you. <laughs> Yo, man, takes a lot of balls though, man. I'll give it to you, man. You you pick one of the wrong motherfuckers. You know, they go, they might go off on you, but you know, it's all good. But he really meant it. So that that's the whole point, man. That's what I like. Um, you know. But as a fan. Um, it was, it was, it was, uh, my opinion was Brock Purdy kind of outplayed Patrick Mahomes, uh, in the beginning, in the first half, I, I believe. And, um, also, you know, that fumble by McCaffrey, maybe that altered some of the plays being called by, you know, Shanahan and all that because, you know, he fumbled the ball. But by people, from, from what I heard from people who watched it, they said McCaffrey was still chewing up the defense, still doing what he had to do. And, 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 um, I guess the 49ers went away from running the ball. Um, so you kind of have to stick what you got there. Um, like I said before, it doesn't matter how, I mean, it matters how you finish the game, not start the game. And I always have to reiterate that. And, I'm, and plus, I always got to clarify, of course, you can't let the damn team score 75 points in the first half. You know what I mean? You got to keep it a little, you know, you keep it in there. Keep it, keep it fair, keep it close to get your team a chance to win at the end of the day. Um, but see, see, all matters how it finished and how they finished. You know, Kansas City did what they had to do. 
uh, fumbles, costly turnovers, uh, all that stuff, man. It all adds up. And um, the Kansas City Chiefs came away with the victory, uh, you know, I guess solidifying their quote unquote dynasty. They did win back to back championships. So, uh, um, so you know, they are back to back champions, three championships out of four. Um, so, you know, do what you got to do. You got that three Peter already got three rings. I guess all Patrick Mahomes needs to do winning is now win one more ring to be one of the um, great Hall of Fame, great quarterbacks. I mean, he's already a Hall of Famer, even retired right now. Uh, just on, you know, his play style and how, you know, all that. So, uh, we'll see what happens, man. Kansas City got the job done. I got that pick correct. Uh, again, it was bittersweet. Um, as soon as I checked on it and they scored, I mean, I saw that they won, they won, man. And, uh, another, uh, and then everybody, I like, I always like making my reaction videos sometimes. I'll keep it real. Sometimes I'll be lazy about it. <laughs> and I know I don't do one until probably like two days later, three days later. Um, because I like to hear what the, what the sports, you know, talk shows, what they're talking about, what they're trying to dissect. You know what I mean? Because I know this too, these motherfuckers always want to talk about the NFL. They'll stretch that motherfucker out for as much as they can. So I guess, uh, there's people talking about, oh, like the players didn't know the rule, the, the, the players on the 49ers didn't know the whole, uh, overtime rules and the playoffs and all that shit. And to me, it does matter to a point. Um, I'll keep it real. It, it, if you know in your mind, I only played high school football, all right? So I can't be on oh, a fucking expert. Uh, but if you know in your mind that, hey, man, if we score a fucking touchdown, uh, they still have to score one. So if you're on, you know what I mean, um, you kind of either want to score the touchdown so you put more pressure on the team. It just depends what position you're at, you know. And then if you're on defense and you kick the ball off to them first, that's what a lot of people were complaining that the 49ers should have the, kicked the ball off first to see what, the, what Kansas City does. You know, if Kansas City didn't do shit with it, uh, you know, there you go. Uh, but if Kansas City cut, could kick the field goal, uh, the Niners knew that all they had to do was kick a field goal to keep it tied and all that. And then, um, so I, I don't know why he did that. I would, I would, I would have let them see what they can do first. Some people did brought up that the defense, 49ers defense was on the field for too long, so they needed a rest. You know what I mean? If we're all adults, that's why we do all that stamina, we do all that, you know, conditioning. It, and so, um, that, I don't, I don't think that was a factor, but it could have been. Uh, but at the end of the day, man, sometimes you overthink things sometimes as coaches or as somebody who is a smart person. You either overthink things or you overlook things. Um, so maybe that's what happened to the 49ers. The Kansas City Chiefs did get it done. Uh, all that, it's funny, man, because I listen to sports radio sometimes, you know, because I don't have, I don't have cable, so I don't, can't really watch ESPN and all that. Um, but I can always check the internet. That's why it's so, it's so cool, but. Um, listening to sports radio, you hear these people's opinions, like, cause they react to everything week by week. And of course, Kansas City, they ain't gonna make the playoffs. They're gonna get eliminated. They don't got what it takes. And at the end of the day, man, they showed up when they had to show up. Uh, some people, you know, of course, all oh, the refs helped them. Buffalo missing the field goal helped them. Hey, they did what they had to do. And like I said, it doesn't matter how you win, as long as you win at the end. And what I mean by that, man, if you win by 50 or you win by one. You still got that W, even if it looked ugly, even if you gave six turnovers or whatever you did, you still get the victory. You still get the victory, baby. So I got that pick correct. Kansas City Chiefs are your back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions. Um, and that's it, man. It, it, I mean, don't forget, though. Don't forget UFL. That's the United Football League. Um, that's the XFL and United States Football League combined. They're going to start in March. Don't forget, there's the Arena Football League. My man, I dropped something. Uh, that's rebacking, that's restarting, and the Indoor Football League. Of course, the Indoor Football League and the Arena Football League, they're the 50 yard, they're the 50 yard fields, fast paced indoor action. And then there's the UFL, man. Don't forget, don't give up on your dreams out there, man. There's plenty of places to pay you to play football. Keep in shape, do that thing, and then don't complain. Oh, there's no more football. There is football out there, man. Just you gotta be open minded to it. All right. As always, thank you for exploring the arena we call life. Your homie arena, Vincent. Vincent three six five production. <sighs> you know, you know what to do. Give me that like. Give me that share. Subscribe to the channel. Once again, your homie arena, Vincent, got the Super Bowl fifty eight pick correct. Kansas City Chiefs are your champions, back to back champions. And um, check it out, man. Link in the bottom of in the description to my podcast i will be dropping a podcast episode soon i only do one one and one and one a month all right and we talk about all sorts of things and um but that's it man but if you gotta if you agree or disagree with anything i gotta say drop it in the comment as well man but again that's it and that's all prediction correct 
Kansas City Chiefs, uh, your champions. At the time of recording, man, uh, they did have their celebration and all that crazy shit went down. You know, people died. You know, some I guess somebody died already. Some people got injured. A lot of people got injured because of shooting out there. That does suck, man. But like I say, man, no matter where you go, you don't know if that's going to be the day you're going to go, you know. So just, you know, try to enjoy life. But that does suck that, you know, you're in a celebration mood and shit, bad, bad shit like that happens. Uh, but, you know, hopefully, you know, the fools that people that did get injured, you know, they, they can do what they got to do to get out of that bullshit. But it sucks. But, you know, at the end of the day, man, sports is just a small, small piece of your life. <laughs> you know what I mean? But enjoy it. If you do have a team rooting for all that, just enjoy those moments. Uh, but other than that, man, that's it. And that's all. Peace.